relationships again is showing up. I have relationship here is what I'm feeling. And then this will be successful for you. It may be a little frightening at first to get back out on the scene, but spirit is showing you, beloved human, you will have success if you put yourself back out there again, slowly but surely, just getting back in the scene, dating, nothing serious. But I know there is someone who really wants to get to know you better. And that could absolutely lead to a successful relationship for you. Grand Rising, beloved humans. Thank you so much for joining. I'm Tiffany here on Wasted Traditions Tarot. We are going to go ahead and get started with your Monday morning tri-daily tarot and find out what spirit needs you to know for the next few days. I've already blessed my cards, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the Shaman's Dream Oracle to pull an Oracle card, and then we will get clarifiers with our tarot deck. Welcome, welcome. Today is your March 25th Tri-Daily Tarot. If you didn't see last Friday's Tri-Daily, I will link it in the cards and in the description so you can check that out and compare it to your weekend. I hope you are well, beloved human. Thank you so much for joining. You are not here by mistake or happenstance. This is Divine Connection, and I'm grateful for you. All right, Spirit, what do the beloved humans need to know? Do tell. Hmm. Stranger, curiosity. Very interesting. Stranger, curiosity. Hmm. Interesting. Someone who you do not know, beloved human, is curious about you. They may have noticed you on the job, um, in the coffee shop you visit each day. They are very curious about you. What is it they want to know about you? Let's get some clarification from the tarot so we can get better understanding Divine Spirit, do tell us about this stranger. <clears throat> Give us clarity and understanding. Do tell. The sun. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Some more spirit. More clarification, please. Who is this stranger? Why are they curious about this beloved human? Hmm. Maybe there's some sort of partnership they want with our beloved human. Page of Cups. Some newness. And the sun, page of cups, two of cups, a partnership for sure, some sort of partnership. All right, let's get into it with the sun card. We know this is grand. This is um, happy endings. This is joy. This is success with the sun card. And so corresponding with this stranger card, this is very hmm, mysterious, right? But there is success. We have the page of cups here. A new beginning, a, a page of cups with two of cups. A new beginning, a new partnership, this stranger, why are they in the background? Why are they in the background observing you? 
you may, it may, I'm feeling this. They're not absolute stranger. I feel like you do know this person. You've seen them. You don't know their character or anything like that, but you know of this person. That's what I'm feeling. You know of this person, beloved human. They want to start something new with you, some type of partnership. And this is feeling like, this is feeling like a love reading right now. Absolutely. They are curious to get to know you better. And what I'm feeling is they do want a relationship in that regard. Um, they want to start a relationship with you. And I, and I definitely feel like it's, it's love. It's, it's romantic. Let's get some more. Six of Swords. The Hermit. And the Four of Pentacles. All right. Well, with this feeling like a love reading, I feel like, beloved human, you've recently gotten out of a relationship. Let's in the past, you know, six months or so is what I'm feeling. You recently left that relationship. It was not serving you well. It was not harmonious to you. Um, it left you feeling depleted and not feeling very confident in the relationship is what I'm feeling. So you recently left the relationship, beloved human, and you have been in hermit mode. You have been pretty much not looking today. You have gone within, sort of closed yourself off. You're still out and about. You're still going to work. You're still running your errands, going to the coffee shop or your favorite you know, bar for happy hour. So the person, you know of them, you've seen their face, you've said hello, and they kind of have felt your energy of sort of closed off, but they've been, they've been curious about you for quite a long time, this stranger, and they can tell you're closed off and they're a little bit hesitant about approaching you, right? Hmm. Okay. They actually want to, they definitely want to get to know you better. And here with the four of pentacles, beloved human, you're feeling like you're not ready yet. You don't feel stable and secure in yourself just yet. Um, after this breakup, this recent breakup of about, you know, four to six months ago, Hmm. I'm thinking this person, this stranger, this is interesting. This stranger is, wow. This person is probably a Capricorn is what I'm feeling. Um, beloved human. I don't quote me on that, but I'm feeling like they're definitely Capricorn is coming in here. Um, <clears throat> maybe even Leo or you're a Capricorn or a Leo. So if that's you, take what resonates and leave the rest as I read intuitively. Um, wow, this is interesting. They could also be Cancer. Cancer's coming in here as well. I want to, I want to get. I'm going to grab another deck because, yeah, someone wants to definitely start a romantic relationship with you, beloved human. We're getting um, some Leo in here, some Cancer. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh, mercy. And they've been watching for a while. Even Aquarius is coming up for sure. Divine Spirit. The star card. <laughs> the star. Wow. Okay, so. Hmm. Definitely Aquarius. I'm going to say either you or this person is Aquarius. Coming up in this reading, a jumping point. This is a starting point for a new relationship. Um, beloved human, I feel like you don't feel ready. You don't feel confident You're to get back out there on the dating scene. And 
I feel that this is going to be worth it to get back out there. Um, there's hope. Don't lose hope in romance is what I want you to know. Don't lose hope. You will find romance again. I know it feels a little raw right now, but keep hope alive. Absolutely. You can, I say, get back out there slowly, but surely the seven of cups. I mean, you, you do have a decision to make here, right? I know you've been doing a lot of solitude, inner, um, inner work analysis of what part you may have played in that most recent relationship. But the decision is absolutely ultimately yours to choose to go out. And I believe Spirit is telling you it's time to get back out there because, yes, because there is something new that can come out of this. You can, this, I mean, re relationships again is showing up. I have relationship here is what I'm feeling. And then this will be successful for you. It may be a little frightening at first to get back out on the scene, but spirit is showing you, beloved human, you will have success if you put yourself back out there again. Slowly but surely, just getting back in the scene, dating, nothing serious. But I know there is someone who really wants to get to know you better, and that could absolutely lead to a successful relationship for you. Just starting something new, new creation, right? Because this person is super mysterious. It's like they're not even on your radar, but you absolutely know of this person. But right now you're probably trying to go through who you see often. And it's very, very, uh, it eludes you right now. I want to see the bottom of the deck on this one. Page of Swords, yeah. Absolutely. You got a Libra. Um, I'm sorry. It's it's definitely an Aquarius. Beloved human, I believe you're the Aquarius that this reading is for. And I, and I do hope it resonates with you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Absolutely. And they, I mean, again, the curiosity is coming up again with the Page of Swords. Curiosity yet again. They are very curious about you, and I feel like, beloved human, your curiosity is raising right now because you are here. You were meant to be here. You were meant to see this. This is divine connection, right? Interesting. And what's the bottom of this deck? Let's take a look. Eight of Pentacles, right? Right? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Some Virgo here. Uh, I feel like they are very determined to catch your attention, beloved human. They are, they are, it's nothing to be fearful of. It's not a stalking type of thing. They just, you have something about you that they really admire and they're very curious about you. It's nothing to be frightened about. Um, but they are determined to get your attention and, and get an opportunity to go for coffee or go for a happy hour with you just to get to know you better. Okay, beloved human, this is the sign. It's go ahead, get back out there in the game on the dating scene. Get some, get your feet wet so you can get the, the nerves out, right? And yet what what I'm learning is this could be very successful new beginning in the romantic area of your life after the heartbreak and after you've had to walk away. And I'm feeling like this is worth it. It's worth getting back out there. Do not hide yourself away for too much longer. Open up your heart again. Um, and you are protected. Your light attracts all sorts of people, but this stranger, I believe that your light is attracting is someone who uh, would be very kind and generous 
and bring you some laughter, much needed laughter into your life. Okay, beloved human, you've made it to the end of the video. I hope this resonates with you deeply and you're able to get back on the dating scene. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos that I have for you. I will see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.